It's Thursday, June 23rd. I'm Julia and welcome to Netlink Daily, where our intros are the appetizers to your tech news entree. Google Fiber has signed a deal to acquire a high-speed wireless internet service provider named WebPass. WebPass mostly provides services for residential apartment buildings and businesses, including HBO Films, Mozilla, Lyft, WordPress, and more. By acquiring WebPass, Google hopes to accelerate the deployment of superfast internet connections for customers across the states. WebPass also has paired its fiber network with wireless tech, which is something Google Fiber has been wanting to do. The cost of the deal is not known, but it's expected to close this summer pending regulatory approval. Flerk, a company that specializes in home media center products, has created a new product for the Raspberry Pi. It's the Kodi Edition Raspberry Pi case. The case is made from mostly plastic and aluminum. The aluminum allows the case to act as a heat sink for the Pi. It supports the Pi 3, Pi 2, and Pi B+, with a few caveats. The case is only $20 before shipping, and a percentage of every sale will go towards cancer research at the USC Norris Comprehensive Cancer Center. So if you've been looking for a case for your pie, check out the Flerk Pie Case and feel warm fuzzies knowing you contributed to helping with cancer research. Boston Dynamics is back with another robot. This time, it looks more like a giraffe dog hybrid called Spot Mini. Spot Mini weighs roughly 55 to 65 pounds, depending on what attachments are installed. The robot can be taught to do a bunch of things from sitting, shaking a paw, retrieve snacks or drinks, and even put the dishes away. Spot Mini can traverse stairs with ease, and even slipping on banana peels won't keep it down for long. I wish my cat would bring me snacks. Snippy snippet time! Instagram is working on adding a text translation feature to its app, so you can stalk in multiple languages. Xiaomi has launched an electric bike called the Mi Qi Cycle. It has a built-in GPS, is foldable, and costs about $455. Intel has helped make exoskeleton legs called HAL, which is capable of supporting a person up to 176 pounds. The Samsung Galaxy S8 is rumored to have a 4K display, so it can deliver high-resolution VR experiences. Maybe put a few grains of salt on that one. Our friends at EK Waterblocks have just launched a full-cover block for the ASUS Strix 1080. And finally, Google published a timetable which shows when certain Nexus devices will stop getting guaranteed Android updates. Sources for all of today's news stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Sunny Pavane Dalalo Puparas Luma Luna Vasimus. Harley, that's a very hard word to say. If you want us to say some weird things on Netlink, tweet at us with hashtag NCIX says. If you guys were paying attention, you would have seen our Gigabyte Computex video and that we were doing a giveaway on it. So now, yes, the giveaway is over for the motherboard. Congratulations to Jonathan M, you win. Check your YouTube inbox on how to redeem your prize. If you don't know where your inbox is at, check the link below. Big shout out to Gigabyte for providing us with a sweet prize to give away. And if you didn't win, don't worry. We have monthly giveaways all the time, so keep your eyes peeled. Plus, fans with benefits, you can comment. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos and check us out on Twitter over here. But as always, like the video if you liked it, comment down below for fans with benefits, and subscribe for more videos like this from NCIX. Now, I need to go try and train my blind cat to bring me snacks and do the dishes. Maybe the fat one can do